Hello and welcome to my channel. I did many review and unboxing videos already and I have a lot of people who follow me and ask me questions about which bike would be right for them. And I can see a lot of people having issue by finding the bike with specific information they are looking for. And I find this big solution for you guys. For most of uh, people who is looking for UL certified battery, who wants to uh, customize the bike, not only the color, but also the parts they need. And most of the bicycles sold as is, basically they don't really uh, customize for you. You have, they usually have a couple of different models. That's about it. So with EBC, Electric Bike Company, you can also not only to choose the right color, but also to choose how many batteries you want to have on the bicycle. Also, all the options and why I think it's going to be the best choice for some people, because it's not only will be a long-term investment, but also it will be the most, afford most cheapest way, actually, because Sometimes people try to save money buying cheaper product, but on the long term, you're going to spend more money because you will not have parts to replace it and you will have problems to replace it. With the EBC company, you can contact them and they will have the parts available for you. That's a really big problem with some brands because most of the brands, they order the bicycles, but they don't order the parts. And then you might wait for a few months sometimes even up to six months, sometimes they will never even send you parts because they don't have it and will not have it. So with electric bike company, which located in California, Newport Beach, um, they also have a headquarter in Casta Mesa, also in California. It's about one hour, one and a half hour away from my house. So it's kind of local business. And they ship the bicycles through the freight company and it's arrived in one of the largest box, as you can see, they deliver it to your door, fully assembled. You just need to do some adjustment. And we're gonna do all this experience later in this video. As you can see, the box is huge. I'm very excited. I received this huge box from Electric Bicycle Company. I placed an order about February 1st, and it took me about 21 days from the day I placed an order and today it's arrived. Depending on the options you're gonna pick, the days may vary, so be patient. And let's see how the bicycle looks. So all you have to do to remove this packing. Okay, so I'm gonna open up first time, and I don't have to assemble, which is great. I really appreciate it. Thank you, BC company, for sending this bicycle also, and for assemble the bicycle. So we're gonna open up and have the fun riding it. Let's see. All right, so you can see there's a bicycle right there. Basically, you get full assembled bicycle. Welcome J model. Really nice looking good. Over here the smart charger and probably the tools. So you would need to you, it comes with a I got some tools as well and manual right here. And also I got alarm system. Theft protection right there. So I just moved all this and boxes so I can show you. The bike actually looks much better than I expect uh, because I saw this bike on the Expo uh, last year and the seat looks like actually much softer now so maybe they upgraded but we're gonna ride it uh, the color looks amazing exactly like I thought it's gonna be actually but I need to remove a lot of packing now so most of the time the bicycle need to be assembled this bicycle need mostly like unboxing And that's how the bike will look, the J model, once you 
unbox it because you cannot really say an assembly because the bike actually came assembled. You just need to readjust the position of the handlebar, tighten some bolts, and that's it. And I want to show you how I will look on this bike. And we're gonna go for right speed test. But before doing that, we're gonna go over some spec. So, so far, my first impression, the position is very good, straight up. It's, uh, I was told that this bicycle actually kind of small for me, but I'm 5'11", and I feel like actually it's the right size. So you can check it out, how the 5'11 person will look on this bike. And there is enough space for two people actually to ride on this bike. There should be options to attach packs, most likely right here. So let's check what I ordered. So I ordered a red frame, uh, a red color uh, fork, which is uh, full adjustable. It comes with uh, a load adjustment on this side and lockable on this side. I believe it's about 100 millimeter travel, maybe 80. It should be listed on the website, but it works pretty well and it looks good over here you can see the ebc sticker also you will find a lot of branding on the frame i think this part is for the bottle you can remove it and attach bottle or the third battery because i got two batteries which is 14 amp each it's 48 volt system it comes with 500 volt motor which is slim and uh, it can go about they say it can go up to 1200 peak power but we're gonna check out how much i can pull out on the off-road mode it came with a chain guard right over here you can also choose different color if you wish to and you don't really need it because you got another guard right over here so if you don't want it you can simply remove it so it will look a little bit different you have an option to pick seven gear or one gear i pick seven just in case if i want to pedal it so it will be much easier and it comes with uh, if you choose the seven it'll come with shimano altus derailleur and shimano seven speed uh, free will you can also choose a different handlebar i choose a bmx style as you can see i actually pull a little bit uh, my way because it looks like the bike pretty large even for me and i am 511 so it's fully adjustable you can adjust right over here the steam by unscrewing this bolt it comes with a very nice control on the left side plus minus it's increase your pedal assist and you can see the display very clear color with a lot of information actually you will see the battery in percentage also you will see in voltage on the side over here temperature you will see odometer reading and trip reading you can also turn off the pedal assist right over here it's turn off by turning on you just press the minus sign and it will disappear so it means it's on to turn it off you just press again and it will turn off I choose, basically I didn't choose, but they automatically include the thumb throttle because if you pick the seventh speed, they automatically include thumb throttle because there will be no much space, I believe. So this combination would be better. And I love thumb throttle actually. And you will have a choice to pick different handle. And you have choice is a vegan leather or the rubber and also two different colors the one i picked actually was rubber but i think uh, i accidentally put leather which actually i don't regret because they looks good and the feels actually very good so, so it's uh, your personal choice which one you like i think if you're riding on the beach or anywhere this one should be fine you can easily remove this plug by unscrewing the bolt on the side and insert the side mirror not going to upgrade the brakes there, there is an option to upgrade it you're gonna get two piston brakes 180 millimeter hydraulic by Bengal and it's a RS3 model it works pretty good very soft and brakes on the dime and it comes with a nice headlight 
you can see um, this one is daylight and um, you can switch from low beam to high beam simply by switching this button it also comes with tail light and the brake light the both batteries will have uh, options to turn them off right over here there's a switch button off and on and when you turn it off the alert will sound because i do get theft protection as well so i do have alarm and if you turn it off the battery it will uh, warn you that alarm is turned off because i believe the alarm inside the battery on the side of the battery you'll find status indicator right over here when you push the button you'll see lights since i already rode the bike a little bit i have red light green and green so i would charge the battery every time you ride and every battery have their own charging port since i have two and ebc company sent me upgraded charger which will allow me to charge faster so if you thinking to get two batteries make sure you select fast charging option at the bottom of the website the bike itself have very nice cable management as you can see very everything neat and all tightened there's nothing loose on the bicycle so when you're trying to ride and you will feel right away the quality built very good as uh, there is no any issue on the bicycle as of right now i didn't see anything as i arrived everything easy to adjust uh, uh, everywhere label how much millimeter torque you need to use on this uh, bolt everywhere basically so come with electric bike company tires branded and it says a uh, premium puncture resistant and they're rated up to 50 kilometers also you can put between 40 to 65 psi air pressure and they look like most street which actually have very good performance while i was riding about the seat the first impression uh when i saw the bike before i thought it's gonna be a really hard seat but we're gonna go for the speed test riding and i'll tell you at the end of the video what i really think about the seat because you have to ride it in order to be appreciated and the seat is long so i think even two people can fit on the seat as well you can also order the rack which uh, you can che check on the website different color there is two attachments from both sides where you can attach the rack j model come with a stand bike stand right over here and the only problem i notice the pedal will stuck here which i don't like but again it makes the bike more stable and it will not trip over again if you don't like it you can always remove it because actually the bike is pretty light i did weigh the bike and it's under 59 pounds which makes the bike uh, very light with no batteries if you want to calculate together each battery it's about seven pounds and you do the math depend how many batteries you're gonna attach to it but it feels actually much lighter than any moped style i reviewed since the bike came fully assembled i didn't show you before the pedals so the pedals also comes branded and with rubber on top so your feet will not slippery so it uh, feels and actually really nice you do get also branded uh, painting over here electric by company and basically you will see almost everywhere the branding and looks amazing i think i choose the right color what do you guys think and which color would you choose check the link in description because it's very easy to play with the website and you can choose basically any color and add a different feature on this bike because my bike was about two thousand dollars which i think very affordable in this type of category with two batteries and also looking good where you can custom your color and also different parts on this bike all right so it's ready to ride i didn't do much uh, adjustment on this bike other than handlebar and put some air in the tires and i also got actually extra the theft protection so this alert uh it comes with two remote actually you, it comes with a panic button a locking and unlock so let me show you right now it's locked if you press the panic button it will be really loud
as you can hear okay but if you press uh, unlock it'll give you beep unlocked but if it's locked like now it's locked if i come in and try to write it it will start to make kind of warning sign sounds like that but actually it's very loud so i'm gonna disable it now it's disabled and if somebody tried to remove battery it will also uh turn on the alarm and i did turn on the uh, off-road mode so you can go to the system turn on the uh, off-road mode and that will be much faster and actually it's my first time riding this bike and i'm gonna go for the speed test right away so we don't have to postpone and see how fast I can go for off-road mode and I turn on to the pedal assist level 5 and bat both battery charge at 100% and I will check uh, speed based on my GPS because display might show a little bit different and right now it's 99% battery charge it's also showing me voltage and uh, a lot of information also show me how much watt power three pedometer basically everything you need to know so now i'm gonna use the throttle only and let's go one two three it's uh, 11 13 based on gps 14 15 17 18 very smooth ride 20 21 22 23 24 25 so it gets me 25 miles an hour on this stretch and it's a little bit below what i expect actually and i weighed about 215 pounds but now i'm gonna use a let me switch to gear number seven now i'm gonna do a speed test based on uh, with a uh, pedaling with pedal assist so let's go And it should be real nice pedaling because the front crack set is real large so it's about 90 now 20 22 23 24 26 27 28 28 miles an hour and then stop Oh, the brakes works really good on this bike even it's uh, only two piston because you have an option to choose four piston it will be a little bit more but i think the two for this speed is fine so the top speed i got 28 miles an hour and it was great so let's go and see how the bike actually rides i'm gonna try to ride the bicycle without let's switch to gear number four and actually i didn't do any adjustment to the gear shifting derailleur right everything out of the box the brakes everything adjusted uh, right came in the box so basically you just need to realign and tighten the handlebar display and that's it so let's check the brakes Actually, I'm gonna use a throttle and I'm gonna get probably to 20 miles an hour and then stop. Oh, I need to get to pedal assist level 5 to go faster. Warning and then stop. Very nice. It's about 2 meters. So 
You do get very good braking. Um, actually, when you start to pedal assist, it pick up really nice. But I'm gonna go to check it out how actually the bike perform without power. And you can turn it off by pressing not power. You can turn off the pedal assist. You just press the minus, and you will see pedal assist off. And now you are pedaling. And I'm getting number three. It's kind of hard because the front crank is very large, so I have to go to gear number two. Still, actually, hard. And I'm at speed number seven. And I go to number one. Now it's perfect. Now it's great for cruising at the beach, park, or anywhere at speed about nine miles an hour. And you may hear some noise coming. It's I think it's a guard for the chain which probably too much i may remove it it's touching crack set so i need to remove it most likely i don't really need it it's already have a guard on the uh, crank set so you don't really need the guard but you can pedal it at speed eight to nine miles an hour on uh, gear number one but the good about they put a larger chainery because the chain ring it's i'm not sure how many teeth on it but it's very large so you will not get a ghost pedaling so i'm gonna turn on pedal assist and go to pedal assist level one now it's very comfortable and it's very smooth i did have an option to go with uh, turn on the uh, torque sensor so basically you can attach uh, when you're selecting the options you can select torque sensor i think it's about 100 dollars more so if you choose that option it would be a nice transition from regular bike to electric bike because when you pedal it it should be much smoother but even with cutting sensor it rides pretty nice actually the fork works really good i'm happy that i select the fork it's hard tail so the seat actually not bad at all and i think some people may think it's hard from beginning but i'm gonna ride it to uphill i have a low expectation for uphill because this bike is not as powerful it's only like 500 watt power and the peak power they say can go up to 1200 so that's why i'm in off-road mode but i'm gonna go to the mountain i test all the bikes so usually 500 watt motor will not go to the top uh, of the mountain on throttle only but as i said before i will do variety test so subscribe to see more tests later but I'm gonna use throttle only Let's see if I can get faster on this stretch so go about 25, 26 throttle only 27 So actually the bike can go up to 27 miles on longest range and uh, with a, if you're planning to ride a longer road so maybe you're gonna hit 27 pretty well that's why I hate to ride on the streets like this where yeah, well, people cut you off but let's see i'll pick up again the speed see how fast i can go and i think i need to bring the handlebar a little bit close to me because this bicycle actually feels like a large for me so if you're a tall person i think it's very good it's going to be a very nice position for long uh, hands and i go 25 miles now which is not bad continuous 26 
I'm not sure if this bike comes with cruise control, maybe it does, I'm not sure. I didn't check it yet, gonna find out later. It's very solid, 26 miles an hour. It's not bad at all for 500 watt motor, 26. Very solid. But if you are a lighter person, you might get faster. Or if you want to pedal today, I don't want to pedal because I've been sick. But wow, it's 26 keeping up, no bad. I think it's doing really good um, on the street. And this bicycle holding the street really nicely because the 24 inches wheels make a big difference. Uh, versus the 20 or 26, so it's somewhere between. The hardtail, I would not really see any, like, I don't feel much difference riding on the street with a hardtail, which surprisingly, yeah, uh, the seat, I'll tell you at the end of the video what I think about the seat, because I started changing my mind, I've been very negative about the seat before, uh, I didn't like it. I saw the first time, but I never rode the bike before. So for the first time, I'll tell you, 27 miles an hour on throttle only. Here, 27 miles of that. On this place, it's 26. So I did change a good diameter to 25. That may be the changing, um, worst uh, good diameter, a little bit change the speed on the on, uh, adameter reading. So it's only a little bit less. I'm gonna play the battle. But so far looks good. Uh, so I get 27 easy on uh, a throttle only. And so far I'm happy with the seat actually. I'm surprised the seat. It's nice. I was thinking I would be not happy with the seat. And I was because it's a, it a, feels like firm, but I guess I was wrong uh, because I tested so many bicycles, feels like sometimes they are too soft, some of them too hard, and this one actually is somewhere in the middle, which is, I think this seat will be much better for long, longer rides, because if it's too soft, it will be actually not comfortable for longer ride, I know this, so if it's too hard, the same, so this one is somewhere between. So I'm close to the mountain now. I'm very close to the hill where I usually test the bicycles. To be honest, I don't think this bike will make even half hill. And that's totally normal for this type of bike. It's uh, only 500 watt peak. And I do have 91% already, which is 52.4. So the battery drainage interesting i'm gonna do some tests and see actually in the next video uh, how long i can ride on the top speed on one battery so subscribe so you can see the other video as well and so you cannot so i'm gonna stop on the stop side over here and what we're gonna test we're gonna test not only if it can climb up hill and how fast so it's usually some bicycle can climb if the motor 750 and above 500 i think only two bicycle ever no actually only one ever climb this hill so i have very low expectation and i don't think it will but we'll check it out why not and we'll see how much peak power so i'm gonna count to three one two three let's go and I can see 844 watt, so I don't think it's a full power because it only can go up to 1200. So I need to check to see why not. Maybe I'll do redo later. So it's only 850 watt peak, and it's going four miles now, and it stop. It does stop. Um, I think it's a quarter of the hill, so only, but again, you can pedal it most likely uh, up to the hill, but I will not do that today, I'm gonna probably, let's see, actually I can do it, 
Yeah, you can probably, yeah, it's actually, it's still climbing to the hill when you pedal it from a zero start, but, and I, I can feel like it's touching, the pedal touching the guard for the chain, which I'm probably gonna remove later on. It doesn't really need one. The motor got a little bit louder than usual. And it's only 838 watts so far. So maybe I need to change something more in settings to get more peak. That will create more power. And if I can do that, I'm gonna retest it in the next video. But for now on, almost made it. And I'm gonna go just for more ride. So it didn't make it to the hill, but again, that's not a problem because I didn't even expect this bike to go. And I tested actually many, at least it's still working because some of them would have problem even to work after this hill. So if the motor has no problem, then it should be fine. I think most people buy this type of bicycle to ride in a city or at the beach. You can climb the hills with the pedaling, with no problem. Let me slow down a bit here. So you can climb easily with pedal assist, pedaling, but with throttle only, you will not climb the hills much. That's my honest uh, opinion, but if you're lighter, maybe. But I'm heavy, 215 pounds, which is pretty heavy for the bike but I'll tell you that this bicycle not only you can custom made it with color and all the features it comes with and the brakes actually amazing works good uh, this bike actually comes with a real nice well it doesn't come I selected the fork but I recommend to select the fork even if you're riding at the beach the pedal is not bad on this bicycle uh, I think the position is straight up, so it's good. And if you're looking for to buy a bicycle to ride in a city, uh, that's a great bike because uh, not only it's uh, very solid made on this bike, everything's so solid. Uh, you can feel like a lot of love was invested in this bike. And I know like some of the parts uh, most of them have a uh, electric bike company logo, everything, but their feels like really solid. You do have very convenient thumb throttle on this model, but you can choose also, also with um, only like a uh, uh, half throttle. It will probably come to the right side of handle. And I have this uh, vegan leather, which is very comfortable to hold. Even I tried to order the rubber one, but I think I made a mistake and it came with a leather. And I'm actually pretty happy that the, I made a mistake when I was selecting. I probably clicked the wrong button. It's seven Shimano gift that let you change the speed the way you need to. The headlight easy to turn on and off so you need to press the plus button over here and then you can turn it on and turn it off and also you can turn off the pedal assist by pressing minus or turning on and the great about the company they have a lot of videos and if you don't know anything about like you have any questions you can always call them up and they will help you they walk you through and help you with any questions because they're a USA based company they can help you with any questions and they know the bicycle very well from my experience looks like they know good you can adjust it go up the handlebar because it has adjustable steam real nice setup on this bicycle and the seat I thought it's gonna be actually hard to sit on because when I first uh, like got, saw it again as I said before it changed my mind now the seat is not bad at all actually uh, now I love it so it's said that you, you need to ride the bike I guess in order to know if it's right for you 
So we may want to check local store if they carry them because they also sell them through the dealers. But if not, I can tell you they have so many different models to choose from. I do like the models which step through. I think a lot of people love them because it's easy to get on, get off. And this bicycle is not heavy, it's only like 59 pounds without batteries and the battery weight about seven pounds each and you do the math you can put up to three different batteries and i think i cover all the information about this bike and my experience i will do more videos on this bike mostly like a range test maybe i will do retesting because so far i got only uh, around 800 watt peak which is typical uh, for 500 watt motor but if i can unlock it for more i'm gonna unlock it and then do retest so subscribe to my channel uh, check link for this bicycle also and there might be some special discount available i'm not sure yet but check it out and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye